Hey there, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Uh, today is, is whew, it is officially the last day of all of my celebrations of the last couple of weeks. Celebrating turning 50, 50. I didn't think I was gonna see that birthday three years ago. Ooh. <laughs> and um, it's my three year cancer anniversary this week. Three years ago this week. I was uh, at the age of 47. I had just turned 47. I was diagnosed with stage four cancer and told left untreated. And if they did not find it, when we did, I had about three months to live. Wow. You know, for the last three years, I, I haven't been able to, to see past, I don't know, a couple of weeks. Like we haven't been able, we certainly, I mean, one of the, the, the biggest changes and, and the, I mean, we just roll with it because what can you do? But, but to not be able to plan anything because we didn't, for the first two years, know if my body was going to be functioning from one day to the next, but then also treatment and the complexity of it and, and, and such. And it's been three long, glorious, arduous years. <laughs> Crawling and scratching at every step to get here and whew, it feels good. It feels good to, to celebrate that. And in celebration of that, uh, I went, uh, I went out to dinner last night with some friends. I got dressed up went out to dinner at a restaurant. <laughs> oh. I mean, <sighs> the stars really seem to align uh, these these last couple of weeks for for my celebration. I mean, right now in the, the city of Chicago, we have like 0.6% COVID, only 50 hospital beds uh, filled with COVID. So, you know, it seems like this the safe time to to do this and 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 my friends we 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 basically rented a, a floor of a restaurant to have the the six of us so that we had to have a private space and we went out to dinner and it was glorious it was so it was the first time in three years that we did something so before times normal, like, got dressed up. That was a big deal. And then we went out to dinner and, and not only like, I mean, I was rolling with emotions the whole dinner. The fact that I could sit in a chair at a table for four hours was, wow. Believe me, my core is really sore on my lower back today, but also, mm, there's something so, for me, I've always, I've always really appreciated being able to be in a space where you can just break everything down to sitting around a table with friends, having great conversation and geeking out about every uh, mouthful of, of food, you know, at a, at a chef driven dinner and, and, and uh, to have someone spend some time making sure that every mocktail sip uh, that I had was was amazing, and that I could I could I could smell this, I I could taste. Again, roiled with emotions because, to a degree, I I could smell it, I could taste it. it there was a lot of sadness in in the losses, but and it was. It was great. It was really beautiful to sit next to my wife at dinner and try so hard to just block out the world, everything, and just focus on this awesome experience with our friends. Celebrating that I'm still here. My friends' anniversary and birthday. It was just, it was a whole 
Mm, so much. I'm so exhausted today, literally, mentally, emotionally, <laughs> physically. Uh, but it, it's, uh, um, it also very perfectly uh, finished off these last celebratory uh, weeks and got me ready uh, for this next week, which uh, I have a very big week coming up. Oh, you just never get a break, right? Uh, that's okay, it's okay, good stuff, good stuff. Um, I have a CT scan uh, of my lungs coming up. This is important. This is the scan that will determine if the radiation that we did worked or not, which means do I get to continue or not? So um, very excited to to, uh, to have this CT scan done. I'm super confident that it's gonna have worked. Um, but this week I do have an appointment with my OG oncologist, uh, my original oncologist. We meet every six months to game plan. So I'm meeting with her. Uh, those are very intense, heavy conversations. Um, and I am meeting with uh, a radiologist, uh, a person that performs ablations and surgery. Uh, all, I'm, I'm just hitting it all this week. I'm trying to figure out if I can get someone uh, to go after the two centimeter uh, lesion that is uh, essentially on my heart. Um, the radiologist, if you remember, has told me he changed his mind. He said he would be willing if the CT scan shows that the, the work that he's done actually is working, he will continue and he is willing to go after um, that lesion. I hesitate there because that's great news, right? It gives you the next step, it gives you hope. Uh, but the reason that they play uh, hot potato or kick the can with, with my uh, with this lesion is because it is um, not only by the heart, but where it is located is where uh, the opening to your lungs goes. And uh, like the radiologist said, his initial hesitancy uh, is that scar tissue could develop, uh, essentially closing that air passageway. So I can't breathe. Um, but that doesn't mean that will be what happens, but it is a factor that I have to think about, yay. I mean, what are you gonna do? Of course you're gonna do it. But there's a lot this, this next week. If the CT scan shows that things are working and the chemo is, is, is holding uh, the cancer so it's not growing as fast, it's super slow, does that mean that I get to take a chemo break and my wife and I get to go to Jackson Hole for six weeks and be in the mountains and recover and take a break from all of the insanity of the entire world? Yes, that'll be amazing. But do we take four weeks or we take six weeks? Is there a difference between four weeks and six weeks? If I take six weeks, is it gonna grow more than if I take four weeks? I know that if I take a chemo break at all, everything is going to grow because last time I took a chemo break, everything doubled in size. So how far do you go with it? Is it worth it? Oh my God, lots of that going on. And then of course, if I am presented with a solution from the surgeon or the ablationist or the radiologist or they all they tag team and come up with a game plan, uh, to be able to get some more of this cancer out of my lungs, there's a lot of scary things that go with that too. So it's okay. For today, for today, I am marveling in the fact that I got to go to dinner with my wife and friends. I had to do something from the before times. If I close my eyes a couple of times during dinner and open them up, I could pretend the last three years didn't happen. That's how, that's how good it felt. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it is stunning outside here in Chicago, so I am going to take my very exhausted <laughs> ass, drag it outside to take my dog to the park. <laughs> Thanks for coming to, to hang out with me. I will, uh, I think I'll be reaching out to you this week. I, there's a lot of squirrels 
uh, in the brain. So if you don't mind, I think I might want to have a couple chats. All right. Well, you enjoy your day. Thanks for, thanks for stopping by.